On the evening of Monday, September 19th, 2022, volunteer firefighter Stephen Black was taking a walk near his home in Germantown. As he attempted to cross the uh, cross Great Seneca Highway, he was struck by a vehicle reportedly traveling 50 miles an hour. Paramedic engine 722 and ambulance 722 were dispatched to the scene. Upon arrival to the scene, the crews from station 22 found Mr. Black laying in the grassy median with significant traumatic injuries. The decision was made to request a second ALS provider and manpower to the scene. Paramedic engine 729 and medic 729 quickly arrived on the scene. Upon initial assessment, the crews found Mr. Black to be awake but very disoriented. The crews worked together to provide C-spine stabilization, place a collar on Mr. Black, and immobilize him on a backboard. Uh, Mr. Black had sustained multiple lacerations and had obvious deformity to his right upper leg as well as his left arm. It was also noted that his abdomen was rigor, uh, rigid and distended. The crews worked together to control the bleeding as well as apply splints. Mr. Black was moved to, the, um, to Medic 729 to be transported to Starwood Trauma. En route to the trauma center, paramedics worked together to acquire vitals, obtained an EKG, and pro provide a focus assessment, uh, monitor bleeding, establish an IV, and administer lactate ringers, administer fentanyl for pain, administer a duonib for shortness of breath, administer TXA, perform a consult with Suburban via EMRC, and monitor and reassess Mr. Black's condition. Upon arrival to Suburban, um, care was transferred to the awaiting trauma team. The trauma team found Mr. Black to have multiple fractured bones, including his spine, right clavicle, right humerus, left wrist, multiple ribs, and left femur. Mr. Black had also sustained internal bleeding that required surgery and multiple blood transfusions. While at Suburban Hospital, Mr. Black had multiple orthopedic surgeries and intensive physical and occupational therapy. On October 12, 2022, Mr. Black was discharged to MedStar National Rehabilitation Hospital in Washington, D.C., where he continued to heal and receive inpatient physical occupation and speech therapies. Thanks to the skills, teamwork, and professionalism of the crews on scene and the excellent staff at Suburban and MedStar Rehab, uh, Rehab Facility, Mr. Black was discharged home on October 19, 2022. Mr. Black would like to thank the crews that contributed to his positive outcome. In his own words, now I've been involved with EMS for a long time, and I know that I'm lucky to be alive. And if it weren't for the quick response and actions of the transport uh, from the providers from 22 and 29, I would not have made it. As they say in EMS, I beat the reaper. I am very, very, very grateful to all the providers who helped save my life because if it weren't for them, my wife would have lost her husband and my son would have lost his father and my mom and dad would have lost their son. Thank you once again for helping me uh, give me a new lease on life. I will be forever eternally grateful for the life-saving actions that you performed that fateful night to save my life. As they say in the fire service, we're all family and I'm happy that you're part of mine.